How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to review something that's pretty cool. I'm sure you're aware of the lightning figure, which is right here. Power Rangers Dino Charge lightning figure. This is me in here. Um, they actually made my face based off of a picture as well. I actually did an unboxing of this, which happened to be one of my most popular videos. This was pretty awesome. I came out in the first wave of the lightning figures that Hasbro released. Um, pretty awesome toy. So I actually have a couple that are open. So here is myself. Um, pretty flexible. I did a video of me versus my action figure to see which one was more flexible and athletic. Pretty cool. Um, I wanted to review the difference, um, kind of like a versus thing, between the lightning figure and the uh, SH figure art from Japan. So this was kind of like the gold standard as far as I'm aware to the uh, action figure world when it comes to, um, you know, like Sentai toys and whatnot. The UArts does other ones too, I believe. But this is, uh, I actually had this first, Yoshi got this for me while we were filming Dino Charge uh, before Lightning Collection was even a, a thought. This was first. So I wanted to open this and just kind of compare them and see what your guys' thoughts were as well. Uh, I can tell you right now from the box, so this says Zyuden Sentai Kyoruja, which is the Sentai version of Dino Charge. Uh, Kyoru Red, which is played by Daigo or King, that's the actor's name in the show, I don't actually remember his real name. But uh, this says in English, weapon, action, um, simple style and heroic action. That couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> this comes with the Dino Saber, the Dino Morph Blaster. Obviously they're called different things probably in the Sentai footage, it's been a while since I've seen it. And also the T-Rex Smasher, which is that T-Rex shaped um, like thing I wear on my hand. So does Daigo and the Sentai to punch monsters with. Also comes with a, a different arm for the Dino, um, um, the Steel mode. Um, what's it called? Dino Steel Armor on, I think. Dino Steel Armor on! That sounds right. Uh, what else is in here? Some different hands so you can pop off the wrists and attach different hands for different poses. That's pretty cool. But then we have the lightning figure. What does this come with? Uh, much less, but it's also more streamlined in a sense. Uh, it does come with my face, which I've mentioned earlier, which is already uh, a point up over the Sentai version, but of course I wouldn't have my face in the Sentai version on account that I wasn't in the Sentai, so that makes sense. Same Dinomorph Blaster, same Dino Saber. I'll also have two different hands. One, two, three, four, five, six different hands. This has two different hands. And then a little lightning bolt thing that goes on the sword for added effect when you're posing with the figure. But that's it. So this has an extra weapon in the Dino Smasher and the other arm for the Dino Steel armor on type deal. So I'm not gonna open this one since I already have two of them open literally right here. But I will open this because this was already open and I just repackaged it. The cool thing about this though, Yoshi actually got me this, like I mentioned when I was filming Power Rangers, but he got ahead of myself, turned into a toy through some, I don't even know. He has so many hookups and connections, he knows people, but he had my head 3D printed before the lightning figure did, so. I'm curious to see which one you guys think looks more like me. Tiny Brennan head versus this tiny Brennan head. Whoop, here goes the toy. Opening this guy. So right off the bat, uh, the Sentai version is much skinnier than the American version. I've always noticed that, or maybe you have too in the older Power Ranger toys, that they're like super ripped. Um, the lightning collection isn't quite as ripped, but like all the old Power Ranger toys had like 12 packs and bulging muscles and things. Um, they didn't do that in the lightning collection, nor did they do it in the figure art. So let me just get this out of the plastic really quick. All right. <laughs> I forgot I, I snapped the neck on this. I have another one of these in the garage, but uh, <laughs> he's headless. So if you imagine this with the head on, um, will it stay for a moment just for this head on the run of the garage? You can see the difference, but nope, head's gone. But you can, oh my gosh. Okay, we're just gonna have him headless. But you see much skinnier than this one. This is one, one is much more buff. Um, in terms of dexterity articulation of the toy, I find the figure art to be much more flexible. I mean, they both have good, articulation, but this one just feels like it goes above and beyond a little bit. But truly, I mean, 
I don't know. I, you can move both pretty well, actually. Uh, in terms of which one I think looks better, like paint job and whatnot, I've bought several lightning figures because I've done giveaways and brought them to conventions and things like that. I only have two of these and one is missing a head. But the paint job on this looks better, to be honest. Um, even right now, I mean, this one's already open, but compared to this lightning figure I have as well, some of the silver's a little bit faded. Um, it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't seem quite as detailed like in the belt buckle with the symbol on the uh, morph Kong, or the dino Kong. This one actually has like the yellow teeth added onto the silver on the belt buckle, kind of hard to see. This one's just fully grayed out. Uh, they both have the same T-Rex symbol. Again, this one's a little bigger, so the symbol's a little bigger. I mean, I don't make toys, so I can't tell you in regards to like why this one has a circle here and a circle here, probably for where they connected things. The torso is pretty mobile on it, but this one's pretty mobile too. Again, mobility, actually, they're both pretty even. Um, other than some slight paint jobs on some of the lightning figures, I can't say it's any worse. Um, hmm. Other than the belt. The belt is the one part that seems to have more detail. They both have the dino um, spikes on the wrists, you know, that kind of go here, look like Wolverine claws. And I like how I'm reviewing this with a headless one the whole time. But uh, yeah, it, it's just more slender and sleek versus a slightly more built one. Then again, I work out, so what can I say? Maybe they're just more screen accurate with me. Uh, in regards to the head that Yoshi had printed out of me, they didn't put the mole above my left eyebrow. But if you look at the lightning figures on the left eyebrow, they actually did get the mole above my left eyebrow which I thought was pretty impressive. The helmet looks pretty sick though. Which one do I like more? I don't know. It seems to be a bit more glossy in the figure art versus the Lightning Collection. Not that matte is bad, but a little more gloss for matte for the helmet. All right, so the figure art has more pieces <laughs> um, and the blaster is actually painted versus, this is the Lightning figure one. This is painted only on one side of the lightning figures uh, morph blaster. The other side is just yellow, kind of plain all the way across. They didn't actually get any of the detail on it just for the one side. Like they have this black part only on one side, not on the other. And then on the Japanese version, it's painted on both sides equally. So again, more attention to detail it looks like with that paint job, including the red around the barrel of where the lasers come out. This one doesn't have that red at all on it. Um, yeah, so I'd say in regards to the blasters, definitely the figure art. Uh, let's see what other piece. So let's look at the swords. Uh -huh. So the sword for the figure art is a little bit smaller than the Japan or than the uh, lightning figure, but so is the figure itself. And the it's more gold. So the blade actually looks kind of like a gold uh, versus a yellow on the lightning figure. Again, that's personal preference, but gold I believe was the color that was actually the blade in Power Rangers, Dino Charge, or Super Sentai. So I, I would say gold is more screen accurate. And again, the paint job is more intricate um, on the sword. There's black here. I don't have one to show you in comparison like I did with the Morph Blaster, but uh, the paint job is more detailed. There's gold trimming actually going down the hilt of the sword um, and the top of it too, where it folds and attaches to the blaster. So again, I'd say they win for that. And the fact that it comes with this itty bitty Dino Charger that just shot me in the eye as I took it out of the box. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. It looks, it's like a, I don't know, 10 times smaller than a Tic Tac. That is a Dino Charger. Um, it's red on one side and on the front of it is yellow, but it doesn't show any kind of dinosaur in it. So use your imagination, I guess. Uh, and then we have the uh, T-Rex Smasher piece which is pretty cool. And again, this is not included um, with the lightning figure. Oh, okay, you have to switch out the entire arm on the figure. I haven't messed with the figure art too much. That's the other thing, both of them, it's pretty difficult. So here's the lightning figure. You have to pull pretty hard to get the head off. And I did it too much and I broke the figure art. That's why it's headless. Um, but see that little ball bearing piece? So the figure art had something similar, but <laughs> now they're both headless, hooray! So. You just have to be careful with it. Um, it is a toy and I'm a brute and I tend to break things. So you have to attach the dino steel arm or whatever it's called in the Sentai footage because there's a little circular input piece for the T-Rex smasher um, to go into. All right, I suck. So that's not going on right now. But anyway, um, I like 
that it comes with the T-Rex Smasher if you're ever able to get this other arm on. And again, there's different hand pieces with different poses, like doing like T-Rex claw hands and stuff like that. Uh, the Lightning figure just comes with, for the hands, um, normal open hand, a hand that can hold the sword or the gun better, and then a fist, and then a hand doing this. I don't know what that's about, but that's what it is. So, see, they're better than, so if you look at the box, you can see with the T-Rex Smasher on right there, because they're able to get the arm in, unlike me. I don't know, I mean, overall, I would say, I mean, I wanna say the Lightning figure is better, because it includes my head. For that reason alone, I would give this one better points. But if you're literally just using it in helmeted form and you don't care about it being slightly more buff and you're okay with like the skinnier um, model, the figure art comes with more pieces and the paint job is better on the actual figure as well as the sword and the blaster and you get a T-Rex smasher as well and more hand poses. So figure arts, um, I don't even remember where, yeah, Yoshi gave me this one, then I got one other one from a convention. So they're hard to find, maybe on Amazon or um, some Japanese website I don't know the name of. The lightning figures have actually gone up in price as well, I've noticed since mine came out in the first line, they're harder to get than the newer ones and they're more expensive. So that's kind of cool, I guess. I'm worth more as a toy, hooray. Um, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think about the toys. Um, which one do you like more, Lightning or the figure art? If you had the ability to get either, which one would you get or would you buy both? Um, yeah, I'm just curious to know. Typically, the Japanese toys tend to be a little bit um, more sturdy, I've noticed. Like, for instance, this is literally the same thing I used on the show, but it's the toy that was painted. Um, Danny Castellanos actually gave me this. And so this isn't the one I used on the show, but this is a Japanese toy. Like, literally, you can go online and buy this. So... Just let me know what you guys think. Uh, Dino Charger ready. Unleash the power and all that. Maybe I'll compare the Dino Chargers at one point because I got like the uh, Metal Beast batteries to the whole collectible set, which I unbox in a different video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you to all my Patreons for all of your support as always. Uh, let me know what other kind of videos you guys would like to see in the future. Until next time.